Okay, hold on. This is kind of crazy. I was about to leave to go eat, and CNN just posted an article, even Pokemon Go used by extensive Russian-linked meddling effort. I'm gonna have to read this while I eat. First things first, there is only one day left to pick up a limited edition trainer tips hat. So if you want one and you haven't gotten one yet, go ahead, hit the link. It's in the description because after this run, they are gone like the legendary birds, which means, I don't know, they might come back, but probably not for a long time. So grab a hat, they're there. Now up ahead, an Entei raid that just popped. So maybe some of the, uh, the lunch break raiders are out. Looks like there's a few people standing around here. Hey, there's uh, zero. Zero people in the gym. Yeah, there are people parked here. So they Dang, they finished it already then. Yeah. Okay. Four people in the lobby right now. I guess uh, a big group was just here. People parked in their cars right here. So people have already done it. We're up to six. There's definitely a few stragglers around. There's like a convention going on at the convention center. So I'm sure people are coming out from there too. Six is plenty though. So with confirmation now that Gen 3 is going to be the next major update in Pokemon Go, I'm a little more confident, you know, talking about some speculation and ways to prepare for Gen 3 because there are some things that I'm going to do ahead of Gen 3's launch just to be safe, just, uh, just to cover my bases in case anything big changes with the new Pokemon. Oh, I forgot that there's no warning flash with raid bosses. So anyway, uh, one of those things is I need to clear out my Pokemon storage. I am constantly at 999 Pokemon in my box, just transferring one, catching one, transferring one. So I need to one, do mass evolutions just to get rid of stuff. And then two, I want to evolve some Pokemon to get some movesets that I don't currently have just in case, like we saw with Gen 2, there are big moveset changes with Gen 3 because some moves might become legacy when the new Pokemon come out. And since that is the next major update, I'm starting to think it could be much sooner than December, like I originally thought. <laughs> Got some forklift exhaust there. So with some movesets potentially becoming legacy, what I want to do is take some meta Pokemon, like the top attackers, some of the better defenders, and just evolve as many of them as I can to have as many of their different movesets as possible, just in case those moves become unobtainable when Gen 3 drops. Which again, I guess is soonish. Hey, go plus myself an egg there. Ooh, 1866. That's... That's not good. By the way, I don't know if you guys have heard this. It was on Twitter, and I actually got an email really quickly. I think this was like the quickest email I've ever gotten from Niantic, but there is an AR photo contest going on right now. So, uh, I'm gonna grab an AR photo. Just, just because. So if you... If you want to enter that contest for some Pokemon Go prizes, I think including like a Go Plus and some other fun stuff, Niantic's holding that contest on Instagram, so you just post your AR photos with the hashtag Pokemon Go contest. I'm, uh, I'm betting on Pokemon Master Holly, at least getting top five. I'm, uh, I'm a little rusty with these Entes. Get it? No. Uh. <laughs> Oh, horrible throw. Oh god, sometimes that works out for me. Here we go, last ball. Last ball on this Entei. Wish me luck. Perfect throw. It's all right, it's 1866. It's not a great Entei, but does hurt my ratio a little bit. I missed two now. My birds are gonna be so mad that it's on you, dude. <laughs>
So I, I finished that article while I was eating, and I guess these like Russian meddling accounts were one using Facebook and Instagram and social media to try to promote certain ideas and divide people. But in terms of using Pokemon Go, it's so strange. They wanted people, they had a contest that they were promoting through their social accounts where they wanted people to go to areas where incidents of police brutality had taken place, catch a Pokemon, and nickname the Pokemon after victims of police brutality. Like they had a, a Pokemon named Eric Garner in the image that they used for the contest, which is weird. A weird use of Pokemon Go, for sure. I guess Niantic had an official comment on it. Uh, it's clear from the images shared with us by CNN that our game assets were appropriated and misused in promotions by third parties without our permission. It's important to note that Pokemon Go as a platform was not and cannot be used to share information between users in the app, so our platform was in no way being used. We just wanted screenshots on social media of Pokemon named Eric Garner. I don't know. Just, uh, just Russia trying to be divisive in the US. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's go talk about Gen 3 prep. Ahem. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna make sure I have one decent IV version of all the meta Pokemon with each of their possible move sets. So, starting with Tyranitar, because it's right there at the top. I only have two, believe it or not. I have Bite Stone Edge, I have Iron Tail Crunch, and I have Larvitar ready to evolve. 512, this is my highest IV. I think this one actually might be a 98. No, it's not a 98. 96. So I'm gonna evolve it, and I'm gonna hope, what's its other possible charge move? Fire Blast? Oh, I guess I don't actually need that. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't need that. So the thought behind this is that it's possible that with Gen 3, we should get new moves, just like with Gen 2, Pokemon with uh, existing movesets might have those changed. So some moves might become legacy moves. A lot of very good moves are currently unobtainable on certain Pokemon. I guess I already have uh, a Tyranitar with both of those moves. Hey, but this one's from Japan. I, I actually don't think I need Fire Blast. I'll be completely honest. How many more candies? 200, enough for one more. Dratini time. 591. This one's definitely getting evolved. I have 423 Dratini candies. And this one is, I don't know what level it is, but it's 4,000 Stardust, whatever that is, 25, 26 maybe. What am I hoping for? I need an Outrage Dragonite. That's one that I don't have. Outrage is currently, it's pretty much its strongest move. I opted to keep Dragon Claw on my last one because that's a legacy move and I like those quick three bar charge moves. But I do need an Outrage Dragonite Maybe even a Hurricane Dragonite. I don't think I have one of those either. Those are two very strong moves right now, which could become Legacy. Okay, there's Outrage. So I have Dragon Claw, Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw, Steel Wing Outrage, Steel Wing Hyper Beam. I don't need Hyper Beam, but I'm not going to use a Charge TM on it. I'll evolve one more Dratini. This one's also pretty high IVs, I'm sure. Yep, that's another 215. So we'll evolve that, and hopefully I can get Hurricane, because after this I'm not going to have many candies left. I only have enough candies to evolve one more, and I really don't want to do it. I also only have one more charge TM, and it's unlikely that I'll get Hurricane with it, so... Machamp. What have I got? Counter Dynamic Punch, obviously, best moveset. Karate Chop, Cross Chop, those are both Legacy. I kept them. Bullet Punch, Stone Edge. Bullet Punch, Heavy Slam. Karate Chop, Cross Chop again. Bullet Punch, Heavy Slam. Bullet Punch, Close Combat. The one thing I need here is probably a good IV, Close Combat. Why is this named Machop? Good IV, Close Combat, Machamp. In case Close Combat becomes Legacy, in case, in case Close Combat gets buffed, that's also a possibility that these moves could have their damage changed, so even though a move isn't good now, it could become stronger. Niantic is known for just changing things without warning. That's Bullet Punch Heavy Slam. Alright, this is a 15 attack. Oh, what is it? Hey, there we go. Okay, so close combat, good IVs. I'm good with Machamps. 
As far as meta Pokemon, I think I've pretty much got it covered there. So the next step for me right now is to free up some space. I have 985 Pokemon in my box. I'm gonna sort by number and I'm just gonna start getting rid of duplicates because there's no reason for me to have five Venusaur. Five Charizards. I have Fire Spin Overheat from Australia. I have Wing Attack Flamethrower. Wing Attack Flamethrower again. I don't think I need two of them. Sorry, Charizard. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like by now you get the idea. I'm just going to continue like this through all my Pokemon. So the things I'm looking for are, one, do I have several different movesets covered? And two, I guess just one. Um, don't need duplicates of Pokemon. Just want to have one of each moveset in case it becomes a desirable moveset when Gen 3 launches. And that's pretty much it. Now, let's see how many Pokemon I can get rid of. You know, as I'm going through doing all this, I can't help but think it wouldn't be necessary for me to keep so many different Pokemon of the same species just in case their moves change if, if Pokemon could learn more than one charge move. Just throwing it out there. Man, the other thing is, like, would I really need to keep 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18? How long am I going to need to keep 35 Farfetch'd in my inventory? waiting for trading. I gotta drop a few of them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone out there who does not have access to Farfetch'd. I'm sorry to everyone who's waiting for trading to be a thing so that I can share my Farfetch'd with you. At this point, I need a little bit of space just in case Niantic decides not to give us extra storage space when Gen 3 drops. All right, it's time. I'm transferring legendary Pokemon with a double warning. Just a few of each. I'm sorry to anyone who didn't manage to get these legendary Pokemon. You know, if you are transferring legendaries, make sure you're keeping one with each moveset also, because Zapdos' movesets did actually change with Gen 2 before Zapdos was even available in the game. In the game data before Gen 2, Zapdos had Thundershock, which would have made it a much better Pokemon. Not that it's bad right now, it's just Charge Beam is so slow. I guess I'll evolve one more, just in case, like, Charge Beam or Thunder becomes the new best move. I don't know. Maybe Niantic's learned from last time, and I'm just wasting my time here. But at least, at least I'm clearing out some space for Gen 3. Alright, Ampharos, show me something different this time. At least it's Thunder. I'll take that. I, this is my first time transferring an unknown also. I'm gonna save a few so I can trade with you guys. I know unknown's a hard one to find also, but uh, I could really use these 21 spaces. I guess I can get rid of that too. All right, that's a 15 defense. Let's try this one. I'm actually not sure what I have in terms of Blissey move sets, but I'll evolve this. I'll evolve one more maybe. Pound Hyper Beam. Yuck. I do still wanna save some candies to power up, any potential Blissey. Not that I really like leaving Blissey in gyms anyway. There we go. Pound Dazzling Gleam. I'll take it. And hopefully we get a fairy type quick move with Gen 3's launch because all the fairy types are missing out. Okay, 851 out of a thousand. So I have 149 spaces free, which is enough spaces for one of every Gen 3 Pokemon. Plus, I still have some mass evolutions to do. I'll do that on the live stream probably next week. But for now, I have to pack. I'm heading out of town, going to Austin for a friend's bachelor party. I'll try to shoot a video while I'm there in Austin. There might not be a ton of Pokemon Go in it, but I'll, I'll use what free time I might have to see a little bit of Austin and show you guys around. For now though, check your Pokemon, make sure you have your movesets covered. Gen 3 could be coming sooner than I thought. I hope you're excited, and I'll see you after the weekend. Got the, the lens hood on, so I can't get a good... There you go, bye!